Ms. McCarthy, Octavia Spencer, thank you and welcome. I Hi. miss you guys. It's so I great know. to see you. I really do. I cannot wait to see you guys in, in person. Uh, where are you? Are you quarantined? Who, who are you with? I am in Los Angeles. Uh, I'm with my family and my mom is here. My mom and dad got separated. He went home to Illinois. She stayed for an extra week. And then, uh, so I, I, won, I won mom in the quarantine, which is great. But your parents, you, sorry, your parents are still together. They're not. <laughs> yes, I should clarify. I'm not announcing their divorce. They just got <laughs> physically separated. Yeah, I said that very poorly. Mom and dad are breaking up, guys. Mom, mom, oh, what a time for them to separate. Oh, I'm so happy to hear they're still together. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Octavia, how about you? I am in Los Angeles, and, um, you know, it's me in, in the kitchen. <laughs> and how what is that like how is you how are you in the kitchen not great nobody has ever asked me to be in the kitchen <laughs> so i've been like winging it living off my friends kitchen skills yeah and now you got to see I, I i'm finding all these new gadgets that i forgot i bought <laughs> i was like what is this thing i bought what what and i it's a, it was an apple core but you put it on top of an apple and you squish it down and it splits the apple into pieces and takes the core out. No. Is that just saving you hours a day? <laughs> hours. Do you know how long I would core those apples? <laughs> <laughs> seven, eight hours a day. Hey, <laughs> Save <laughs> everything. Oh my gosh. Uh, I heard that you guys have some kind of quarantine traditions that, that maybe involve alcohol. Melissa, do you want to start? Uh, well, there, it's, there is a beer o'clock. <laughs> what time is beer o'clock? You know, it's it's moving up. <laughs> it's <laughs> noon. Ben started it. And then there's been a couple times where the kids are like, it's 11.51. It's not noon. I'm like, get out of <laughs> Close We're enough. We got here on the brink. <laughs> um, and then we did, uh, Rock and I, had we had a, a driveway, uh, social socially safe distancing. We both sat in lawn chairs on opposite sides of our driveway and had a cocktail, which was oh, like, the, I mean, like I was at like a full nightclub. I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> I, I can't wait for, for like a hangout. I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I, I just, I, I, I guess I've been invited to the Zoom hangouts, but I haven't, I haven't really done one yet. I just I guess, figured Zoom out like uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using it on my phone. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> It was a lot what? of Octavia's forehead. It was usually, <laughs> and then 98% ceiling, and then like just her little bit forehead. And we were like, Wait, Octavia, Octavia, look at it. She's like, why are there any of your feet moving? And that was it. And we're like, what? You can put it on a laptop? <laughs> well, my, dad, my dad swears that there's no camera on his computer. <laughs> I go, Dad, they all have it. It's right in the middle. He's like, oh, Jim, I don't have one. I go, all right, man. Well, whatever. We'll just talk on the phone then, I guess. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to see my face. Uh, how long have you guys known each other? Oh, it's 20. Is it more than 20? No. Is that right? Yeah. That's great. Where, do you remember where you first met? Groundlings. Yeah. I went to see them at the Groundlings. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. right. Octavia was really good friends with Tate Taylor, our dear friend and great director. And uh, he would ha Octavia would come to see our shows. And she had, not surprisingly, she, her laugh is so infectious. And it's so great that our shows would go better. So <laughs> they'd be like, you have to get your friend to come back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll and pay so her. Nobody would want to go do a show unless she was in the audience because everybody <laughs> would laugh more. And then that was it. We've been stuck together ever since, delightfully. Uh, but you guys are, uh, are teaming up. You're going to be in a, a film together written by uh, your husband, Ben. Scott Cohen, who's a very talented guy. Uh, w when is it coming out? Do we know, do we know what it's about? <laughs> you imagine we shot it. We had no, we had like, we had no. <laughs> The first improvised film. <laughs> no, it was, um, I, it's like coming out of Netflix. And I can't, it'll be out next year because he's still just, you know, in post. It's called Thunder Force, and uh, Octavia and I are lifelong friends that become uh, superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how fun is that? Was it great? Oh, my God, we laughed. 
every single song. Isn't it great when you can just do that and you go, this oh. is work? It's, it's, I, I don't want to go back now. I, I, I just want to do films with Ben and Melissa and laugh every day. You just spoiled, right? Oh, it's the most fun thing in the whole wide world. I, those are the things I, you know, I, I don't really miss much about movies. Movies don't miss me. But uh, I, uh, I loved uh, just hanging out. It's almost like camp for like three months. Totally. It just, you get so close to everybody and it, you're all working so hard on something that like everybody cares about. And you also get to see all these people that do, everybody's so good at their little specialty. <laughs> That's just the neighbor. Suddenly, there's just like a power tool. I'm like, all right. Are they spraying, someone spraying a hose at you? No, I just, there's like I, somebody on the other side of the fence is like, <laughs> <"Do you hear> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, that's fine. Dude. That's it's me. Cool. Oh, every time on TV, you come over the fence. Oh, it would be great if you could time it out every time you said a curse word. They they drill. Like, let oh. me tell you, mother. <laughs> it's just me with the power tools. Like, my <laughs> that's the next move we got to do. Um, the uh, what? Well, thanks for again for coming on. Everyone we've had on, we've asked them to spotlight or a, a charity or something that they're working with but this is amazing what you guys are doing explain to me frontline foods and how this whole thing came about because it's amazing we all wanted to try to help out you know as best we could being home and um uh a couple of friends of mine uh leslie feldman and um uh, her sister amy carpenter we just decided that we were going to feed the the health care workers on the front line and try to help restaurants um by you know ordering from area restaurants and then uh, melissa well we were we were ben and i were literally sitting in our kitchen and we're watching the good stuff octavia's doing and, uh, and her friend and then we're watching joel McHale, who's going out to restaurants uh, and he's saying it's a good distance, but saying like, hey, these guys are open, they're on the corner of this and this, they're trying to keep their lights on, they've got to pay their staff so they can pay rent, they're open, they'll deliver. So he was trying to drum up business. I'm like, what if we all collided? And we started doing it in LA to <clears throat> a bunch of different hospitals and in Detroit. And then we became aware of Frontline Foods, which is just doing it nationally. And it's complete 600 volunteers it's 100% every penny that you donate to Frontline Foods goes to paying restaurants to keep their staff working and then they feed frontline workers in hospitals and janitors and everything. And it's just amazing that we've, they've raised 3.7 million. It's, we've done, we've done over 160,000 meals. Oh my gosh. It's all volunteer. It's just this like volunteer army, I think 46 different cities. It's just an amazing, it reminds you that like people are people are good and even at the worst times like if you're not the best of people yeah i totally agree guys thank you so much for coming on the show i miss you guys and uh, i can't wait i'm definitely going look for me in your driveway because i'll be <laughs> i'll be bringing my own lawn chair yeah <laughs> we'll hold you to that won't we <laughs> your own lawn chair your own drink it's great <laughs> all right thanks guys uh -huh. on and on and on uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.